brand tech here where tech is made simple so we also have another browser update and this time it's the brave browsers uh, turn to be updated for desktop and that's to version 1.45 which is the latest stable release now and also it's been upgraded to the latest chromium platform which the borough browser is brave based on and that's chrome version 107 now um this latest update was made available on the 25th of october and there's quite a lot going on this is quite a major release so um, i'm just going to highlight what i would consider to be the uh, key highlights for you for the purpose of this video now the first is that um you could start seeing new prompts uh, in the browser um, that will allow you to enable the blocking of cookie consent notices on the web now this is a feature i did post on a little while back and i'll leave a link in the description to that video but just to do a very quick recap um if we just head to the settings menu head over to shields scroll down to the bottom content filtering and yeah in the filter lists if we just type in cookie yeah we get easy list cookie list fault obtrusive cookie notices and they've started to add dialogue now for blocking uh, blocking those cookie consent banners that you might see on certain websites and um, that's now in version 1.45 now um, another um, improvement um, for this latest release is that um, uh, brave translate which now is bundled in the browser which was added in a previous um, version upgrade um, can now just as an example um, it's been upgraded to um, translate from 15 to 108 languages now so that's an improvement where brave translate which um, by the way if you want to just enable the feature um, or disable the feature if we just head back to settings and we go to languages yeah use brave translate so that's received an upgrade from 15 to 108 new languages so that's a nice improvement if you do use that feature on a regular basis and then um there's a feature in the browser called copy clean link and just in a nutshell basically it's a privacy feature that allows uh, you to copy only the relevant part of a site's address and now um, if you right click um, on the address bar you'll see they've added copy clean link to the right click context menu for the address bar if you click on that address uh, in the address bar and then um just to do some quick mentions there's also the ability to import extension settings uh, in brave version 1.45 and then um, they've also added the ability to import from google chrome um, for developers and also um, you can also import from google chrome beta now so those are two new developments regarding the Google Chrome web browser for div one for developers and then I um, imp importing your data from Google Chrome beta and if we head to the new tab page and um, go to the customize menu you'll see they've added um, a select a, a, the ability to select a gradient background option for the new tab page now so in the last update they added solid colors and now we get gradients so just to demonstrate there we go you now can apply a gradient background and you have the option to refresh on every new tab so that's a nice little improvement for the new tab page just to give you a bit of choice to customize the new tab page which i think is a good idea and then um they've also enabled theme support for the speed reader which is also another feature built into the browser and then um regarding private windows and the tor private window um, they say they've improved the privacy by preventing private windows from inheriting permissions set in normal windows so that's just an extra layer now regarding privacy and private windows in brave in this latest release and another privacy feature is they've also improved fingerprinting privacy by adding fabling protections for screen resolution and coordinates and um, once again like every other um, update for brave um, too many to mention in this video but the wallet once again if you are using brave wallet and the cryptocurrency in the browser it's received numerous improvements add-ons and updates too many to, to mention in this video but if you check out the release notes if you are um, using brave you'll be able to have, have more have a more in-depth look at all those different um, updates and fixes to the wallet and over and above that there are actually eight security fixes that have rolled out for the actual browser 
and then it has also received 13 bug fixes. Now to see if you have this latest update, um, just head to your menu about Brave. And the latest version now for the browser is 1.45.113. And if you are on Linux, by the way, according to the release notes, um, if you are using the browser on Linux only, that'll be the point release will be 114. And then the Chromium platform which the browser is based on is now at the latest chrome version 107.0.5304.62 that's the same now as google chrome and uh, just to mention some important uh, um, security fixes that have rolled out for the chromium platform um, there were 14 security fixes that were made available in chrome version 107 and um, three of those are high risk which is your second high strength vulnerability after a critical vulnerability and that's just to mention those quickly the three high risk vulnerabilities that have been fixed are type confusion in v8 that's the v8 javascript engine heap buffer overflow in vulcan and use after free in layout and that's use after free is also another common vulnerability but nonetheless 14 security fix fixes have rolled out and addressed and fixed those 14 security issues so just double check your browsers up to date even if it's just for those all important security updates and then um uh, if we just head to the version and we click on that, this will take us to the release notes. And um, as mentioned, um, lots going on in this release. So if you want some more in-depth information, you can just click on the version as mentioned and come to the release notes where you can check out all the new add-ons, improvements and fixes um, for version 1.45 of Brave. And that's also been upgraded now to Chromium and Chrome 107. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.